In continuation of the engagement with critical stakeholders in electoral process aimed at ensuring the conduct of free, fair, credible, and most importantly, violence-free elections, the INEC chairman, Professor Atahiru Jaga, for the first time met with the INEC youth ambassadors to further emphasize on the critical role expected of the ambassadors. The primary issue is for our tourism. And the most important thing for the credibility of land volunteerism is non-partisanship. If, for example, somebody is seen moving around in a particular political party cycle, you know, uh, in their campaigns, for example, or is in their adverts saying support this political party. And if people perceive that that political party uh, has either some youth that are being sponsored to be violent and so on, obviously if that person is an INEC youth ambassador and is talking about non-violence, many people will not uh, listen to that. So that's why the first obligation that I mentioned it is that if you agree to volunteer to be an INEC youth ambassador, then you have to realize that there is an obligation to be non-partisan. You cannot be seen uh, in a paid advert or in a particular political party campaign. So really that is an individual choice. You have to choose between whether that's what you want to do or Rather than do that for the purpose of the election, what you want to do is to promote peace and non-violence and good elections. So, so really that, for me, that is uh, the key issue. The ambassadors who expressed appreciation for the appointment also took turn to comment on their assignment and suggested the best ways of conveying the message of violence-free elections among their followers and fans. They requested the Commission to support them in carrying out their duties as INEC ambassadors. We're very famous people in the industry and we have situ we've actually had situations where people call us um, to come campaign for them, for them to give us lots of money. And um, personally I said uh, I'm an INEC ambassador and I'm supposed to preach peace non-violence. I'm not supposed to be saying campaigning for anybody. But I don't know if that's what the commission actually wants. So I want to be clarified right now if we have any sort of restrictions as to the things we are supposed to do. Yeah. It is not enough for us as individuals to say we are INEC ambassadors. It's the power that INEC puts behind us that actually, I mean, the power that INEC puts behind us publicly not just inside this room, the, the, you know, the image, and like Benro said, if there was a TVC where all INEC ambassadors are actually like a, a small TV jingle, that's why it's called TVC, yeah, right? Exactly. That this is what we're saying. It shows everywhere. I don't think this, most of us, there are people who know our faces, who say, okay, people are saying, these people are saying free and fair or peaceful elections. I think, I think it will go further. I think, I propose that we as notable ambassadors should spread this message of violent free elections across the, um, uh, the presidential uh, candidates in the country like um, our president who is who's currently running, um, General Muhammad Bukhari and a lot of other uh, as far as, sorry, um, uh, candidates that are going to run, we could go there and tell them, please, as ambassadors, this is what we are going to do in our respective geopolitical zones. Like me, I live in a private room, I live in Rio, and I am a notable voice there. We can go to them and tell them, please, this is what we stand for. We do not want to spill blood, we don't want to see our kind that ought to have been risen up to ought to have risen up to the level, the social level that we are right now, spilling blood and some of them being killed in the course of conducting elections. Please, uh, 
we want you to also tell this to your teaming supporters, people who are um, possibly your die-hard supporters, that please, it is elections and it is not war. We do not have any other Nigeria apart from this. We have to have a Nigeria first before you can even be president. You know? So that is what we want and we will believe we count on you in towards getting that facilitated for us. Professor Jaga assured the EMEC ambassadors of INEC's support while urging them to use their talents to make INEC and Nigeria proud.